Hello, finally doing a little video here on my uh, boxes that I've been making over this long period of no work, <laughs> being able to get my arts and crafts going. I'm um, just going to show you really, uh, there's not going to be any picking in this video, um, unless we have time maybe at the end. I'm just going to show you these boxes really, um, hopefully the idea is these will travel with me whenever we have any future meetups. And I can have a table and put them out and people can come up and have a go trying to open them and be a few little treats and prizes inside of them um, and then any anything after that maybe they'll get sent out for people to have a go at as well so we we'll start out with combination lock uh, the keys to each box is in the previous box so makes sense to start with a combination that doesn't need a key um, this is a little cam lock on here. I will hide the combination just because it's not changeable. It is a three digit combination. Okay, we're open. These are all sort of riveted together. The aluminium uh, sort of guitar effects pedal boxes. Nothing special about them, just sort of slapped together, but it gives you something to open, you know. It makes you feel like you've succeeded with your lock picking as opposed to just turning a core or something like that. So, put that to a side. Here we have a little box which has some keys in it. Magnetic, apparently. <laughs> now, these keys go to the next box. That'll be the theme of how we're doing this. So. Where is that next box? Over here. I'll try and find these things as we go. Um, this was nearer one of the earlier ones. I've got multiple locks on this. There's quite a bit of money went into this box. Um, the lock case that's inside this box is Stuv from Germany. It's 50 quid alone and the locks that are in it as well. Some people say, why don't you sell these boxes? I don't think that anyone really wants to pay the money for my time and effort that went into making them and the costs of locks, this box would be easily over a hundred pounds, close to two hundred pounds, based on the time I put into making it as well. Nobody would really want to pay that, I don't suppose. Um, so three locks on here. Each of them need to be opened for this box to open. You cannot open this box without opening all of them. Um, order doesn't really matter. So this lock on the right can be turned either way. It only goes that far to the right, or you can turn it like that to the left. Uh, temporarily, we'll just show. So this is a garrison. I see that doesn't open. This this lock down here goes straight through the bolt, so we can open that one. And now that's allowed the bolt to be free. We can see that this lock won't open. and this one won't open it either. But turn them both together and we get the bolt back. Okay, some more keys inside. All the design inside is the same, just rivets and trying to make as much space as possible in the box, but some of them, uh, there is almost no space in the box and it's basically just down to getting the box open and as opposed to getting it open for something inside. There we are. Okay, what have we got here? Lau and Fletcher safe keys. Eight levers in this one. And another large one. Uh, we use coach bolts on these. Um, these have got, underneath this head here is like a square part and then a shaft with a thread on it. For those of you who are not sure what coach bolts are. Um, that stops anybody from the outside from getting at this. It is an aluminium box at the end of the day. You just cut the hinge off or, or drill the rivets out. It's not about security. They're just a bit of fun. There we go. And we have another key. But you recognize this key. Put that aside. 
This is an Abloy Sentry lock. Quite nice. And here is the box it goes in. A little bit smaller. The rest are around this size from now on. This lock is a little bit unique as in we turn it to open, if we keep turning, it locks again. <laughs> so we go there and then come back straight and we can take that out. And here we go. We have some more keys. I'll leave this in the outside just so I know what, what's done. Okay, what are these keys? It looks like another safe key. And a smaller key. But this one, you may have seen this one um, in a few people's videos on YouTube. Um, and the Mac, uh, and amongst a few others. Sorry, there's a couple I won't remember. You obviously, Andy Mac is in my head because he's quite, quite a large channel. Um, I've added this addition on the front, and what this is is a it's a little lock blocker. So you turn that one first and we can remove it, which then allows you access to the lock behind. And we are in. Small little key in this one. There we are. Okay, what have we got? It's another Lau and Fletcher. This is uh, it's a seven lever, small sort of cabinet lock or garage lock. Um, here is the box. I've done a video on this recently, picking it open. And uh, Gordon Window as well. He has a, a lock box of mine with one of these locks in it also. Go and check his channel out and see him pick that open. Some more safe keys by the looks. Right. Small little box that one. You won't fit much in there. Little trinkets maybe. Or a chocolate bar. <laughs> it's a good chocolate bar box lock. Okay. Some more double bit safe keys here. These are for a uh, cowie, I think it is. Here we are. Three bolts on the side. special really but a nice looking little box we have a, a piped key here I believe this is a four lever piped lock and this is one of my favorites this is the box it goes to with a combination dial as well and the idea of that is you must first pick this lock if you can but you'll see it does not retract said called a direct entry sort of safe lock and what that means is the back end of this bolt over here is directly connecting with this safe lock until the code is incorrectly it will not allow the bolt to pass so again this code is changeable but for the sake of it I'm just going to dial it in off camera we do three turns to the right, stopping at the first number. Two turns to the left, stopping at the second number. And find one final turn. Let's check I got it right. <laughs> final turn then allows us to open the lock. Here's what the inside looks like. As you can see, I mentioned before, it takes up a lot of space in here unfortunately so you, there's not a lot to a space to put in anything but again it's more about opening the lock and having fun with the box okay some more keys here a bit more simple <laughs> little Yale keys this is for a little cabinet lock which I acquired not too long ago uh, it's actually a till drawer lock. Um, it's mounted upside down 
as from how I would like it because I drilled all the holes before switching the cylinder around and then it didn't line up anymore so <laughs> it's just the way I had to have it. This is unique to the rest as it has a latch so in theory we could lock the keys in this box and give ourselves a problem if we couldn't pick it. There we go. Okay, next, a V5. This is another one that you will have probably seen if you watched people's YouTube channels and lock picking. Um, this is again amongst one of the first lock boxes I ever made. And uh, you can see there's a few holes in here which are not necessary. Um, trial and error, really. This is just uh, my newbie, newbie tea showing through. Um, a little handle that I turned on the lathe myself there. It's quite nice. It's threaded in. And open. This is this key retaining as well. You can't remove that key until you lock the box up. Some people had some nice issues with that once they opened it and found the key inside. How to... Uh, they, they closed it up and tested the key. And then they were thinking how they were going to get the key back inside. This is a challenge lock in this one, so not a standard lock by far. But some people were able to get it open and quite nicely as well. Okay, um, this is the final box, and this is a multi lock interactive. Quite nice and uh, minimalist looking, sort of neat. Again, rivets only holding this thing closed, but uh, we're not going to open it destructively, so. Bit of a MacGyver sort of cam <laughs> tailpiece going on in there. That's a key blank chopped up. Uh, that locks down behind that, very low back there. That's that. Okay, I was going to pick this one, but um, the video is over 12 minutes now, so I'm going to leave that for another video. Uh, maybe the next one will pop this one open. Anyway, thanks for having a look, and I hope you enjoyed having a look. I like things that are just different and interesting. Uh, there's a lot of videos of people picking locks, which is fantastic. Different locks are interesting. Um, it's just everybody sort of has the same thing going on, and uh, I like to keep it a little bit different. And uh, a lot of people seem to like these little boxes that I'm making and watching me make them on Instagram. Um, all of these are on Instagram. You can follow me there at uh, GXAXV. Just the same as my YouTube channel, this one here. You can search on Instagram and there's loads of good stuff on there as well. Oh, that's it. Leave us a comment below and uh, like and subscribe, obviously, if you've not already. And uh, see you in the next one.